I want to share a pivot table pro tip with you guys. Uh, it's a very basic tip, one star, uh, but very helpful nonetheless. I'm going to talk about how to use some specific pivot table field list options to help you stay organized. Now, by default, the pivot table field list is usually stacked. So you'll see a list of fields on top and your areas panes at the bottom, your filters, rows, columns, and values. So at the top of that field list, you'll see a gear icon that will give you a menu of options. And so this is what the default generally looks like, which uh, for many cases will be just fine. But in cases that you have a very large number of source tables, like if you're using a power pivot on top of a complex data model or linking to a sheet with many, many, many fields or columns, there are a couple other options that may be helpful to you. Uh, number one is showing your fields and areas side by side, which is this second option here. What I like about this is that it gives you that entire vertical pane housing your fields. So it makes it a lot easier to search and scroll through those columns if you have a very large number of them. And then the second option is sorting A to Z as opposed to the data source order. So if you've got your columns aligned in a meaningful way in your source table, you may not care about this option, but otherwise sorting alphabetically can help you access those fields a bit more quickly. So common use cases, again, updating that layout uh, to show all your fields in one vertical pane, especially if you're dealing with data models, and two, sorting those fields alphabetically in cases where your source order isn't necessarily meaningful. So let's jump into our pro tip workbook if you'd like to follow along, and I'll show you a couple of very quick examples of what this looks like. All right, so here we are on the pro tip workbook. I'm in the table of contents tab for quick navigation. Um, we're in the gray pivot table tip section, and I'm going to look for the field list options demo. Again, one star, very basic demo. Let's link right out. And here we've got a pivot table against the IMDb movie database. We're looking at movie titles and genres and ratings, along with some values like gross revenue and budget. So here's my field list on the right side of my screen. If you don't see your field list, you can either right click a cell in the pivot and toggle this hide or show, usually the last item in the menu, or you can go into pivot table tools and this show pane here all the way on the right allows you to toggle that field list on and off. Now within that field list, here's that gear icon that will let you customize the layout. And by default, we're stacking our areas and fields. Here's that second item which basically creates two columns. We can drag it out to give ourselves a little more room. Now we have all of our columns or fields here in this left column, and we have our four panes or areas in the right, our filters, rows, columns, and values. Now, if we look at our fields, we'll see that they're not sorted in any sort of alphabetical order. We've got title, then release date, color, genre, language. And in this case, this is just fine because I've put my calculated fields and my numerical measures at the end, which is a habit that I generally follow. Um, but if that's not the case, you can go back and say, let's sort these fields A to Z, budget, cast, color, country, etc., uh, which can make this field list a little bit easier to navigate, uh, especially if you've got hundreds of columns here. You also have a search bar as well, which makes it very easy to drill down and find individual fields uh, that way as well. So it's really as simple as that. We've got a few other options here, like just showing the fields or just showing the areas. Um, I personally don't find those very helpful, so I generally stick to one of these first two options. So in this case, let's go back to our stacked option, kind of drag it back out, and there you have it, customizing your pivot table field list layout.